This is George Armstrong Custer. He was born December 5, 1839. He was a commander in what was known as the American Civil War and the Indian Wars. In early 1876, thousands of Native Americans escaped from their reservations and military officials were ordered to force them back. On June 25, 1876, Custer and his troops engaged in battle with the Lakota and Northern Cheyenne tribes near Little Bighorn River in Montana. His forces were defeated and Custer was killed in this day of history known as Custer's Last Stand. Now why the fuck am I telling you this? Because I once had a whole class all about this kind of stuff. And after a whole day talking about General Custer, the teacher goes, So, there were lots of books about General Custer, there were lots of movies and cartoons. Anybody know of something that Custer was in? Anybody? Anything about Custer? And I was just thinking, please. Stop tempting me because I just wanted to raise my hand and say, uh, yeah, actually, there's an Atari game, Custer's Revenge, where you fuck a naked chick up against the cactus. Nobody would believe me, but it was true. It was a real game, and it came in a nice leather case, I guess so the kids couldn't see it. At the stores, you had to ask for it because it was either hidden behind the counter or in the back room. But anyway, I find the picture on the front really weird. The girls depicted in a realistic style where Custer is like a cartoon character, and he's way smaller than her, and he's got a hairy ass. Well, let's pop this piece of shit in and give it a go. I don't even need to comment. Look at this. Well, you're both completely naked. Well, maybe not completely naked. You got a cowboy hat, a pair of boots, and a scarf or an ascot. <laughs> ascot. So what's happening? There's spears dropping from the sky and you gotta dodge them. Oh look, I got hit. Then lightning strikes and you jump out of your boots. So the goal is to get over there and rape her. It's terrible, I can't believe I'm playing this. Yeah, fuck her, fuck her, fuck her, fuck her! <laughs> That's how you score in this game. That's funny, right? Well, it's funny for about two minutes, then it gets boring. All you do is bang the chick, dodge the spears. Bang the chick, dodge the spears. You know, you gotta give this guy credit. He's under attack, and he still has the nerve to go over and screw this woman against a cactus. I think it's a cactus. With Atari, you really can't tell. You know what bothers me? The spears don't even come down all the way. They, like, disappear, so it doesn't even make sense when they hit you. But overanalyzing this game isn't even worth it. It's nothing more than a joke. It stirred up a lot of outrage when it came out in 1982. Native Americans were offended, women activists were offended, parents were offended if their kids got a hold of this, and I'm offended because this game's a fucking piece of shit. And if you think that's crazy that there exists a pornographic Atari game, well guess what? There's tons of them, and Atari had nothing to do with it. See, today this would never be allowed, but back then, anybody could make a game for the Atari 2600 and sell it. So, you want to see more? You sick bastards. Alright, what kind of surprise do we have in here? Beat em and eat em. A girl licking an ice cream cone. But what the fuck's the title about? It doesn't sound pornographic. It sounds violent, like you beat somebody up and eat em. Oh, I get it. Beat em and eat em. Oh dear, what have I gotten myself into? All you do is move these two sluts back and forth to catch this stuff that this guy shoots down. <laughs> Yummy! Let's take a look at the manual. And here it says, the object of the game is to eat him every time he beats him. You score one point for each and every drop you swallow without a miss. But should you miss, shame on you. You lose one turn. After all, it could have been a famous doctor or lawyer. What kind of sense does that make? So the gameplay is basically the same sort of thing as Kaboom, except Kaboom was a great game, but this is just a miserable shitload of fuck. You gotta be completely accurate to land in their mouths. And it uses the sound effects from Pac-Man. 
You get an extra life if you get 69 points. That's clever, right? You know, there's really something wrong with this whole scene. You gotta be a total fucking whore to stand naked at the bottom of a building with your mouth wide open to catch jizz from some guy jerking off on top of a roof. What kind of sick bitches are these? And what's the deal with this guy? Either he has a huge dick or he's a dwarf. I mean, what the fuck kind of game is this? Alright, now here's one for the girls. It's called Bachelorette Party. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of naked dudes. Whoa, watch out guys, it's some crazy bitch bouncing off the walls, and it hardly even looks like a girl. I mean, look at this. It could be Swamp Thing for all I care. The gameplay is basically like Breakout, but flipped on its side. You control that thing on the left to catch the girl and just bang all the guys. What a whore. Now here's one for the guys. It's Bachelor Party. It's the same exact game, except it's a dude going around having sex with a bunch of girls. What a stud. This one's called Gigolo. The idea is that you're this nude woman on the streets going around breaking into random houses where you find men to have your way with. You know, that's really weird. Could you imagine if you're just sitting around minding your own business that all of a sudden some naked chick breaks in and starts humping the crap out of you? You know, that's really not fair. I get Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger and Spider-Man, Bugs Bunny, but no naked chick. Fuck this shit. If you break into the wrong house, you get kicked out and the cops come after you. You don't want to get caught by the cops or the bad guy. I guess he's supposed to be a mugger or a rapist. How ironic. Most of the time he's in prison. I'm assuming that's the jailhouse and then sometimes he escapes. So the cops are after the bad guy, the bad guy's after you, and you... You're after cock. Now we got Philly Flasher. Somebody please explain this one to me. Philly Flasher? Like Philadelphia? What's Philadelphia make you think of? Ben Franklin, the Liberty Bell, Rocky, cheesesteaks, a witch shooting milk at her tits? Well, it's no doubt that the game could take place in any city and that the title's only phonetic. It might as well be Chicago Shitfucker or Dallas Dick Kicker. The game's basically the same as Beat'em and Eat'em. The only difference is that it's two guys drinking milk from a witch's tit and... Oh god, what the fuck? This game really disturbs me, but I don't get it. Is this supposed to be erotic? I don't know about you, but I'm not at all turned on by some old wrinkly shitty witch titties. That's fucking nasty, man. What sick fuck came up with this? What were they thinking? Here's a game that's on the same card as Philly Flasher. It's called Cat House Blues, and it bears a strange resemblance to Gigolo. In fact, it's the same game, except you're a dude instead of a girl. This guy's got no arms or legs, but that doesn't hold him back. You know, why isn't this game called Philly Flasher, and this one Cat House Blues? They must have fucked up and switched the titles. Now we got Knight on the Town. I suppose you're a knight, and you're on a quest for the holy ass. That's right, your goal is that princess on the top of the castle. What he wants to do with her? Well, take a guess. So as usual, the object's pretty simple. You just grab the blocks and build the bridge, but watch out for that crazy monster, and if the alligators get you, they bite your dick off. There's no point of walking because he's so damn slow, so you just gotta keep jumping and keep in rhythm so you don't hit the monster or the alligators. I don't have any idea what these things on their heads are. They look like Dr. Seuss characters, but one thing I never expected to see Dr. Seuss characters do is this. Alright, just one more game because I've had enough. This one is Jungle Fever. I like to call it Jungle Cunt. Well, honestly, I don't know what to say about this one. How did they come up with this stuff? Alright guys, let's have a naked, big-breasted woman hanging from a helicopter shooting at flames with a naked guy in between and some cannibal bitches, I guess, trying to kill you. What the fuck? The goal is to put out the flames and rescue them. And to celebrate, why not? Well, what can you say? Atari and porn. Witches, door-to-door -door prostitutes, rooftop beaters, cowboy rapists, what more can you ask for? Remember the commercials, Have You Played Atari Today? Well, fuck yeah I did, but you don't want to know what I was playing.